Good morning, guys. It is five o'clock in the morning on day 22 of Vlogmas. Painful, disgusting, tired. Um, but what can fix that is coffee. Coffee fixes everything for the most part. Um, I say we, we get into these bad boys and um, we, we, we make life worth living. By drinking our will to live. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. So it looks like day 22 is right here. Awesome. I did want to say before we open this that TJ never, nor I, the Levanto yesterday never got drank. So I'm thinking that we'll pair that today so, you know, we can finally taste both. Um, but I apologize. We, we did not get to that yet um, because, you know, I didn't give it to TJ yesterday because I did not wake up in time for him to have it before he went to work. So luckily I'm up now. We can get him to have the 22 and usually he only has a single shot, but to be honest with you, it'll be fine if he has two shots or makes it or if I make a latte or something like that. So we'll, we'll get into it and he'll give you his review. Ooh, oh, wow. I, you know what, I was hearing that this was also a pretty good espresso. I'll put it, the intensity and all the information up on the screen, but that's exciting. It's a beautiful pod. Awesome. And I'll take the info out from yesterday too. Perfect. Okay, let's do day 22 on the virtual line. Day 22. Oh, a Rondio. Interesting. Again, this is one of those things that I just always forget exists. I have no idea the intensity of this. I'm hoping that it's pretty good. Um, yeah, a Rondio. Kind of beautiful pot. I also wanted to say while well, we have this Grand Lungo out from the virtual line, I did end up drinking the decaf Hurtado that we got a few days ago in the advent calendar. Um, I never updated you guys and I apologize for that, but I did end up having it iced at night as like an Irish cream iced coffee with like an Irish cream cold foam, which was absolutely amazing. Um, if you, if you can check out my recipe on TikTok, cause that's where I posted it. And I posted it a couple days ago. So definitely, definitely look at that. Okay. Awesome. Right off the bat, I think definitely going to give TJ the original line, but I think that, you know, he will, uh, I think he'll enjoy a caramel macchiato before he goes on a a disparate, disgusting day because he had to wake up this early. And um, he's working right until he goes home to Florida. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. This is too, this is too early for me. Okay, excuse my yawning. But yeah, so I think having a caramel macchiato for him will wake him up and put him in a better mood. So while I'm waiting for him to confirm, I'm going to open up the cat advent calendar and we'll see, hopefully... They'll have some not disappointing things in the, for the cats today here. But, you know, for some reason it is, we can always give them some treats. We'll do that now instead of, you know, just being mean to them and not. So, yeah, I've run out of options. I've just run out of options. So this cat calendar better have something for me. Okay, cat calendar day 22. Oh. Man, this is already a disappointment. You see those strings? You see this? Not doable. Not doable. Sorry, guys. God. I, if you haven't been keeping on my blog, miss, go check out the other videos. I'm tired of ranting about this type of ball. They have way too many of these in the calendar. I'm so sorry. We had pizza and stuff last night. Okay. Mm, can't do it. Okay. I got some traits. Let's console some cats. Okay. Kitties. Kitties. Look. Yeah. Yay. Yummy. Merry Christmas. 
Christmas. No, I had to give it to them because the, the toys were not great. Okay, so I just heard back from TJ that he would like a caramel macchiato hot. So I'm also going to try some of these espressos, give you my review, but let's make it. Okay, so I just brewed the Levanto pod first just to give that a try because we got it yesterday. That's surprising. I don't really like this pod. It was like at the intensity that I thought I would like it, but there's something in that very beginning. I don't know if it's acidity or what, but I don't like it. And that aftertaste, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, that is not, that is not what I wanted. Um, so yeah, not cute. Um, let's do, let's try the Rio de Janeiro and I'll give you that review. Okay, this is the Rio de Janeiro pod. Whoa, still super hot. Mm. I don't know y'all. I mean, I like that one a lot better though. Definitely not my cup of tea. I'm um, neither of these. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, the, 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 the Rio de Janeiro pod is a lot more complex in my opinion, which I like. Because it has this weird taste going in that differs the way it like goes down your palate. It, it, it differs a lot. And I like that. I don't know. I, I'm not crazy about either of these. So I can't, I can't recommend them. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see. Let's see for TJ sick. Let's see how they taste them. Let's see how they taste the macchiato. Okay. Okay, babe. I made you your caramel macchiato. Thank you. I will say it's two different shots of espresso because, <laughs> cute, we had another shot yesterday that I opened and you didn't get, so. Oh, yeah, that's a pick-me-up right there in the morning. Yeah, you like it? Yes, that is, that is very smooth. Okay, um, awesome. It definitely has some sort of, like, like nutty and fruity taste, I would yeah. say. Which I feel like is? that's the Rio in there. Um, so you, we actually have two different shots. We have the Levanto pod, which is supposed to be like more caramelly. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Rio de Janeiro pod, which I think uh -huh. is a little bit more complex sense, and like maybe sense. fruity. I'll have to look at the description. I haven't seen it yet. But I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't crazy about either of those pods, at least like drinking them straight up. I thought they were both kind of weird. I didn't like it. But yeah. we'll see. I like it. What do you have to say, Sammy? See, he always does this. When the camera's on him, he's like, wait, don't catch me in the act. What are you doing? Spoiled. Hey, guys. I'm definitely going to have my pod later on because it's too early for this. I'm exhausted. I might go back to bed. We'll see. But I will catch you guys in a couple hours. Okay. See you. Good morning, everyone. Again. Uh, as you can see, it's finally daylight outside. I did go back to sleep for a couple more hours, but I did want to share with you that I did make the Arundio pod. It is iced. I chilled it for like probably 40 minutes while I was doing some house stuff, but I brewed it, chilled it in the freezer for, like I said, that amount of time. And I put it with um, a couple pumps of the Belgian cookie syrup that I have that's like speculose tasting. And then I just topped it off with this oat milk eggnog that I got from Trader Joe's. And of course this recipe will be on my TikTok, but it's absolutely amazing guys. It is like the best pick me up right now as I'm getting ready to start, um, you know, getting, getting into the holiday, trying to get gifts, trying to travel. It's a lot, it's a lot. And um, hopefully you guys can try something similar at home. If you guys have an espresso machine, let me know how you feel about Arundio. I don't, I haven't really tried a lot of the Grand Longos. I think because of this advent calendar, I finally tried like all of them in the Virtua line. But um, so far I've, I've been liking them, surprisingly. It's not really something I usually go for, but I'm glad that they incorporated a lot of them so I could try them. And um, maybe, I'm thinking at the end of the series, because it is day 22, at the end of these days, I'm going to give you my list of all the pods that I really enjoyed and let you guys know, like, which ones I feel like I would purchase again. So, yeah, I'm excited. 
I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my coffee and I hope you guys have some amazing sips and please, please, please enjoy the holidays so far. They're coming up, okay? Enjoy. Thank you.